Hi, welcome to Pilates by Dawn. Today I'm going to take you through the leg exercises with the magic circle and then later some bonus exercises without it. So you're going to take your magic circle. For the first one, these are all seated. You want to make sure that you are sitting up as straight as possible. A dining room chair is a good sturdy seat for you. You want to make sure you're sitting a little bit forward on the chair so you can't lean back. If you need some back support, you could put a pillow back there. But the idea is that you're already sitting up as straight as possible. So you want to sit right on top of your sits bones, ideally a right angle at the hip and the knee and the ankle. And then your legs are just a little bit apart. So we're going to take the magic circle and put it between the inner thighs. You want to make sure you're not right at your knee joint, but a little bit above it on the base of your inner thighs. And then your feet are as parallel as possible, so they're not splayed out. You can hold onto the chair if you need a little bit of support, or cross your arms in front of you, or just have them straight down. So finding that position where your pelvis is vertical and your stomach is pulled in and up, we're going to exhale and squeeze the ring from your inner thighs and then let it release. We don't want any pressure on the knees, but right from the inner thighs, you're pulling your stomach in and lifting up through your core and release. So we're engaging the entire trunk, what Joseph Pilates called the powerhouse, as you squeeze and release. Let's do two more. Exhale, feel the bottom squeeze, the stomach pulled in and the inner thighs draw together and release. And last one. Try to keep your feet where they are and isolate the movement in the inner thighs, the stomach, and the bottom. And release. So now we'll take the ring and put it on the floor. And we have two choices for the feet here. You want to line up your heels in the little scoop of the pads on each side, so right in that center spot. You can either do this with the feet flat on the floor, where you have your heels right in the center, or you can turn the feet out so the arches are gripping the outside of those pads. Either one will work. You may find that this first one may be a little more comfortable. Sit up nice and tall. You're right on your sits bones. Your bottom is squeezing under you. Your stomach is pulling in and up along your spine. And we squeeze the heels and the inner thighs together and release. This one you're going to feel a little bit more of your outer thigh and bottom engaged. And squeeze and release, subtle but deep, and exhale and squeeze, and release, one more, exhale and squeeze, and release. So try turning the legs out, be mindful you're not putting strain on your knees, and now we get right up underneath the legs as we squeeze into the heels, and release, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall in your hips so you don't want to be tucking under, that would put too much pressure on your lower back. Exhale and squeeze and release. And one more. Exhale and squeeze, lift up tall and release. So now put the ring off to the side and we can do some seated leg lifts that are wonderful for strengthening the tops and the backs of your legs and your seat. You want to sit up nice and tall. Holding onto the side of the chair may give you a little more support or for more challenge, you would cross your arms in front of you and sit up straight. So first, without any shifting in the hips, try to just lift your right knee up and hold it and place it back down. That same leg again. So you're not trying to pick it up all the way to your chest. You just want to lift it where you can hold it. You want to make sure if you have any hip issues, you're not giving yourself more range of motion than you can control. And two more. Lift and hold and lower down. Notice I'm not shifting from side to side or letting my back sink and round my hips under me as I move the leg. Then we'll go to the other one. Sitting up nice and tall again. Squeeze the bottom under you. Pull your stomach in. Exhale and lift the knee up and lower down. So you may find that the first few times you do this, your foot is not going to lift very high off the floor, and that's fine. You want to only lift where you are centered. You want to feel the top of your muscles working in the leg and keep that center scooped up through your back. Let's do one more and lift it up and lower down. Then we do a straight leg lift. Remember I said for more challenge, you can cross your arms in front of you. So stretch the right leg out. So your leg is as straight as you can. You need to be sitting towards the front of the chair. Just make sure it doesn't tip over. And pull your stomach up and lift your leg. 
and lower down. Every time the leg reaches away from you, you're pulling your stomach up even more and you will feel your lower back muscles working, but there should be no strain. If it's too much strain, then don't lift your leg quite so high. And lift and lower one more. Pull the stomach and end up as you lift and lower. Bring that leg in. Make sure you're still in a nice parallel line with your hip joints and we'll do the other leg. Up to five. Flex the foot, sit up tall, exhale, lift your thigh and lower down and lift your thigh and lower down. Sitting up tall, leg reaches away, stomach pulls in and up, exhaling as you lift and you will feel your quad on top and lift and lower and bring it in and take a rest. Last thing, we'll put those two together, either holding onto the chair or arms in front, lift the knee up like you did in the first one, then extend it, bend it in and lower down. And other leg, lift, extend and bend and lower down. Make sure the hips are even, you're not shifting, you're not tucking under, you're staying nice and tall and you will lift that leg as high as you can control and lower. One more each leg. Lift it up, push away, bend it in, lower down. One more, up and reach and in and down. Now that's a long time to be sitting up straight. So let's stretch the back out by just reaching the arms, pull your stomach in, and just lift up and out of your lower back to stretch. You're not hanging on it because your stomach is lifted and you roll yourself back up. And one more, lift up tall, pull the stomach in and up as you lift over your waist to reach towards your toes and roll yourself up tall and reach the arms away. Beautiful seated posture. This is how you would like to sit in front of your computer all day. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.